And we're live. Hi, everybody. Okay, so today we are playing Rolling Realms. Um, it is a game. It's a it's a roll and write game in which we will be. If you played this with us before, you're going to know, or maybe you played design the game. Um, either way, um, what Rolling Realms? It's a game in which we, if you're going to play at home, what you need to do is you have to print off a sheet. This is the Rolling Realms one. We are playing version nine. Uh, if you have played before with us, go ahead and print off what, or just use whatever version you have. I'm actually kind of curious how the different versions will interact with each other um, as far as the total points go at the end of the game. I mean, the whole basics of this is, is to um, test play how Rolling Realms functions. Um, so Rolling Realms was designed by uh, Stonemaier Games or Jamie Stonemaier at Stonemaier Games. It plays on a lot of the aspects of some of his other games, if you are aware of the other games. If you're not, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be aware of the other games to be able to play this game. Um, how the game works is we're going to roll dice. All of us are going to use the, one of these two dice um, or both of these two dice somewhere on our board. Um, and you have to use them if you can. Um, how the game works is that we are going to play in three of these different realms every uh, turn, every round. So every round consists of playing in three of these different worlds. Uh, we just kind of randomly pick which worlds we want to start with. Um, and so that's sort of what we'll, we'll do to start with. So um, I'm going to say, hmm, well, maybe I'll just I'll keep explaining the basics of the rules first. And I'll wait till um, my wife comes back out and she can help me decide which ones we'll actually play with. But anyway, um, the basics of the game is we're going to be filling in different things. What you want to do ultimately in the game is win stars. The person who wins the most amount of stars wins the game. Now, to be able to do that, you can also collect other resources. These other resources will be helpful in helping you get stars or fill in extra spaces. Those extra resources are listed down here. They are the pumpkins and the hearts and the coins. And so as the game goes on, you're going to also be collecting pumpkins and hearts and coins. And then you can also choose to spend those. So what I tend to do is I tend to, hmm, maybe I'll switch to black so you guys can hopefully see what I'm writing with better. Okay. So what we do, uh, we, we do a dry erase. Um, this is actually just inside of a transparency uh, sheet. And then we put it inside of here. So then boom, this is a dry erase board. So we can replay this and replay this and replay this without having to reprint it every time. Okay. So if you are ever in any of these realms going to collect a pumpkin or a heart or a coin, you just put a little uh, mark like that on it. Later on in the game, say you've marked two of them. Um, if you want to spend them for their action, what they do is right over here. So it's listed like if you spend two pumpkins or three pumpkins or two hearts or three hearts or however many coins, when you spend them, all you do is you come back through and you put the X the other way. This officially says that you use that resource. That resources has been used at the end of the game. Now, these resources for end of game scoring, every 10 resources that you have not used um, is going to get you one extra star. Uh, so it's it's a point point value, kind of like coupons, I suppose. Um, anyway, ultimately, though, you're going to want to win stars. So as we get into which of the three realms we're going to play in, um, I'll explain how those realms technically will win you stars. And so let's see. Um, oh, OK. So. Uh, we also have this one labeled as French too. So I'm going to practice my French and try to explain some of this in French as well. So if you're English, bear with us. Um, we'll pick out the worlds in a little bit. And then we'll just uh, play this kind of bilingually. Um, so, dans ce jeu, nous avons joué avec le... Um, nous avons joué... Or nous allons jouer le jeu Rolling Realms. Uh, rolling, rolling Realms est un jeu... Qui tu as roulé le dé et dessiné les différentes choses dans l'espace. À chaque fois que je roule le dé, comme si je roule uh, le 2 3 ici, je dois marquer le 3 et deux différentes uh, montes dans uh, cette, cet espace. Um, 
le but de le jeu est pour gagner le, le plus des étoiles que l'autre joueur. La personne qui gagnait plus des étoiles gagnait le, le parti. C'est plus facile. Mais chaque, euh, chaque euh, monde, chaque euh, round, round euh, nous avons joué, euh, nous allons jouer dans trois différents euh, mondes. Et donc, euh, après, je roulais, euh, je ne sais pas, euh, neuf, neuf fois, euh, le round est fini et tu comptais le, des étoiles totales et place ici et après tu jouais le, le prochain round. Um, pendant le jeu, tu peux, tu peux uh, gagner l'autre la, la chose aussi comme le coin ici ou le, le citrui ou le cœur. Uh, et tu peux utiliser le cœur ou le citrui ou le coin pour, pour utiliser pour acheter l'autre chose, comme l'autre la, côté de la, de la feuille ici. Um, expliquer que uh, la chose que tu, tu peux acheter um, avec l'autre la, chose. Donc, chaque fois que tu gagnais, uh, par exemple, si tu gagnais en citrui, tu marquais le citrui comme ça, et, mais pas si uh, le prochain tu, tu gagnais un autre citrui, mais tu peux uh, acheter l'autre la, la chose avec le citrui, juste que marqué comme ça. Et pendant, uh, dans la fin de la partie, uh, par chaque uh, ressource que tu um, pas utilisé, um, tu gagnais uh, 0.0 étoile. Donc, pour euh, euh, 10 euh, ressources que tu ne peux pas utiliser, ou tu n'es pas utilisé, tu gagnais une étoile. Et la personne qui gagnait le plus, euh, plus étoiles gagnait le, le parti. OK. So, for the three rounds, what would you like to do? Um, how about viticulture? OK, so Michelle is going to go for viticulture. Scythe. Scythe. Okay. And Charterstone. And Charterstone. Okay. And then for the second one. Okay. One. One. So you're going to put a one on Scythe, Charterstone, and the culture. There's going to be a first one. Tu dois marquer ou dessiner ou un un dans Scythe, Charterstone, et Viticulture. Tapestry, wingspan, and my little sight. Tapestry, wingspan, and my little sight. So our second round is going to be le deuxième uh, tour, deuxième round. Uh, tu dois marquer les deux uh, dans tapestry, uh, wingspan, et my little sight. Et le dernier uh, tour, tu dois marquer en trois dans Between Two Cities, en trois en Euphoria, et en trois dans Between Two Castles. So you're going to put a three on each of those. So we are only going to focus for this first round on the ones marked with a one. Um, these are the ones we're going to play in. So nous avons joué avec le, le chose, avec juste le un. Le Scythe, Charterstone, Viticulture. So, Scythe is pretty simple. Um, we're going to roll the dice. Then you can mark things on the top. So, if you were to mark the three in this case, you can mark it like this and get a pumpkin. Par Scythe, pour Scythe, tu dois marquer le... Si tu marques le trois dans le AU, ici, tu gagnes un citrouille. Mais, après ton uh, prochain tour, tu peux utiliser comme... Uh, si je roulais un 1, tu peux marquer le 1 et acheter une étoile avec le citri que tu as uh, gagné avant. So, your next turn, if we were to roll like a 1, for instance, you could spend your pumpkin to then buy a star. So, that's how Scythe works. You're going to be gaining resources here to gagner les ressources ici et then you would be spending your resources right here to buy a star. Et dans le, ton prochain tour, un autre uh, tour, tu peux acheter une étoile 
uh, après tu um, spend. I, f- I forgot the verb for spend. Um... Oh, well. So, tu, tu peux acheter une étoile avec la ressource que je que ça uh, dit ici, comme la citrouille ou le cœur ou le coin. Okay. So you'd mark those. And then obviously you can't use a three anymore up here. So you'd have to use different ones or, you know, you can put the one down here again. So that is how scythe works. I'll erase this. Uh, next one is charter stone. For charter stone, um, say you roll the one, one and the three um, and say you want, you want the heart. So you put the three here and you would win one heart. Pour Charterstone, tu peux, tu peux placer le 3 ici, mais, et, et tu gagnes un cœur, mais avec le autre D, tu peux marquer un 1 dans la petite boîte ici. So, after you have marked that you took the 3, you're going to write the other dice face right here. You do not, uh, you did not use this dice. It just gets marked there for reference. So, tu ne peux pas, tu n'aimes pas utiliser le D, tu n'aimes, tu n'aimes pas, tu, tu, tu sais. Okay. Um, mais tu dois utiliser le 1 dans un autre monde. You have to use the 1 in another space. The 1 is just here for reference. On a different turn, if we were to roll a 1 again, uh, par, par exemple, pendant un autre tour, et j'ai roulé un 1 encore, tu peux marquer le 1 et gagner des étoiles. You can mark the 1 and win 1 star. Uh, on a different turn. But this can stack. Tu peux, tu peux utiliser plus que la même fois. Par, uh, par exemple, dans uh, un prochain tour, je, possible, je roule le 2 et le 1. Je peux marquer le 1 et le 1 est déjà là. Et pendant un autre tour, je roule un 1 et le 1 et je peux marquer le 1 et 1. Et dans un autre tour, possible, je roule un 1 et un 6. Je peux marquer le 1, 1, 1 et gagner 3 étoiles. So, I just realized I have to explain all that in English as well. But it'll be easier. So, every time I roll, every time you're able to place one here and the other dice is a 1, you can mark those 1s in the little boxes. And all at one time, um, when it's a push your luck aspect, um, you pousse tes chances. Uh, you um, can take all those ones that are currently marked and win stars for every one and with just one dice. So that is how Charterstone gets you your resources and how it will get you your stars. Lastly, la dernière uh, monde pour cette ronde est viticulture. Okay, so viticulture works like this. You will... Um, par exemple, tu roules le 6 et un 1. Je peux marquer le 6 avec le cercle. So I would circle the 6 and maybe I use the 1 somewhere else. Let's just say I use the 1 over here. Okay. So we use the 1. Um, and then a different turn, if I roll, let's just say I roll a 5 and a 2, for instance. Okay. So with this 6 also, I won, I would win one pumpkin. Avec le 6, j'ai gagné le citrouille aussi. Um, But on my next turn, what I could do is I could take the 5 that I roll and I add these together. So donc, uh, je je peux uh, prendre le le 5 et uh, ajouter avec le le 6 pour uh, faire le 11. So you add them together to make the 11. And to do so, you would cross off the six, add it to the five, and you get an 11. And that would get you two stars for each of these wine glasses. So that is how you are going to get resources here and stars. Okay. That is the three worlds we're going to play in. And I will explain the other worlds as we go along. But these are the three that we'll start on. Um, And I'll leave these dice. I play, you only need, if you're going to play this at home, you only need two dice, and every time you roll, you're going to place their numbers right here. Um, For the sake of doing these videos, it works best if I just 
roll them out so everyone can kind of see what they are as we go along. Okay, so the first roll is a one and a three. So you would mark that right here, one and three. And obviously when we run out of spaces to mark it, then the game is, that, that round is over. So, hmm. Let's go like that. Yeah, if you wanna. Okay. Screen is back. Yeah, it's it's a little weird. I haven't, I haven't placed my okay. I appear to have forgotten what we're actually doing here. And at the end of the game, go ahead and put your, in the comments uh, above, um, put your scores. If you enjoyed playing this game, um, you can look up all of our live playthroughs from before and play with us for the next version. So the next one is a one and a five. Took the wrong thing there. All right. You everybody ready? Yep. Okay, the next one is a two and a five. Right. And you. Sounds good. Okay. So, oh, two and a five. Okay. I'm gonna show you mine. Um. So I mean, you write these however you want. I am gonna just keep these dice going. Shoot, and I lost my other dice. Okay. So I'm going to keep these dice just kind of running along down here. So if you ever get lost, you can just double check and see which one we are on by, um, you know, reading it this way. Okay. Next dice roll is going to be a six and a two. Right. Okay, the next one. Well, I was going to have them just be oh, a long okay. row. So that way you can kind of see. All right, so the next one is a four and a two. Because I think we'll be able to fit all nine. Turns. The coin. Okay. Ready? All right. Next one is a five and a three. Three. 
group. Okay, and we have, we'll have three turns left of this particular round, and then we'll score it all up, and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is a one and a two. Two rounds left. This one is going to be a one and a four. Okay, and one last roll. It's another one and a four. Are these two of those to change? That was actually kind that of a hard one. combination. And we'll do this as our other one just for that. Okay, so now you should be at the end of, I mean, I didn't fill in the rest of mine, but we'll just cross those off. Okay, so you all you have to do now is uh, count up your stars. Uh, maintenant, just uh, compter le, le des étoiles total pour moi. J'ai gagné 4 étoiles ici, 4 étoiles ici, et 2 étoiles ici, donc uh, j'ai gagné 10 étoiles. So I only got 10 stars. I also got 10 stars. And... But not in the same way that you did. <laughs> and so we'll worry about the rest of these unused ones later, but just remember that a uh, total will be used. Now, in the next round we're going to start. Uh, you can no, no longer use any of these resources you gained before. Tu ne peux pas utiliser le ressource uh, pendant le, ton uh, dernier round. Tu dois uh, utiliser juste le, le ressource que tu uh, gagné cette round maintenant. So you can only use the resources you gain for this round. So you can't go back and use any of these ones that you've won. These are just going to get you points at the end of the game now. Okay, so the next one we are going to do, we're going to do tapestry. I'm going to move all of these over. So if you join in late, don't worry. Um, you can still just play along. This is where we're starting, and we're just kind of going down um, that way with them. Okay, and I'll line up because the next row is all going to be yellow dice, so you'll be able to tell the difference. Oh yeah, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Si tu as uh, la question, tu peux, uh, tu peux marquer la question dans le dans comment, commentaire. The comments? Je ne sais pas. Okay. It's, it's kind of hard to do French and English when you don't have a, a French person who can come over and help you with it. So, I have to say I'm doing a pretty good job. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to... Like an A for effort. An A for trying to uh, mirror myself with with French. Okay, so we are going to do tapestry, wingspan, and my little scythe for the next round. Tapestry is fairly easy. Uh, pour, pour cette round, nous, avons, uh, joué le, nous allons jouer le tapestry, wingspan, and my little scythe. Tapestry uh, marche comme ça. Tu peux uh, utiliser le dé et uh, remplir le, le petit bois avec le, le shape ici. So you, it's like Tetris, comme Tetris. Um, so you will be using dice that you roll and you'll be kind of marking them in here and you can turn them. Tu peux tourner le, le shapes um, um, au, um, 
aucune direction, any, any, or toutes les directions que tu veux. Um, so you can turn these however you need them to fit. Now, if you look really closely, you're going to see a heart and a pumpkin and a coin in different boxes. Si tu regardes, tu peux voir uh, le, le cœur, le citrouille et le coin. Donc, après, tu remplis le, le boîte avec le, le citrouille. Par exemple, tu gagnes les citrouilles. So once you fill like the box with the pumpkin the rest of the way or the coin or the heart, you're going to win the coin, heart, or pumpkin. That's how you win those. For the stars, you are going to win them when you have completed entire box, like row or column. Tu pour uh, des étoiles, tu gagnes les une étoile pour chaque uh, uh, row horizontal ou column vertical. Uh, avec le, si, si tu veux, tu peux uh, voir le, des étoiles, donc juste suivez comme ça. OK, so that's how you are going to win stars in tapestry. Wingspan is all about math. So pour uh, wingspan, tu dois utiliser la mathématiques. Um, bonne chance. Uh, you, uh, tu peux placer le numéro de la dé, par exemple, si, je, si tu as le, le 1 et 3, tu peux placer le 1 ici et gagner une citrouille. So, for example, you could place the 1 here with, and win the pumpkin. Um, the next turn, maybe it's, a, it's another 1, and yeah, this is going to work out well. The next one's a 1, so you could place the 1 here. Par exemple, prochain tour, passive 1 et 5, tu peux placer le 1 ici et gagner le coin. So you'd win the coin. And your last one, maybe it's a five and two. So you could place the five here. Tu peux mettre le cinq ici. Et maintenant, tu gagnes cette chose. Parce que cinq plus un plus un uh, est sept. Donc, tu as cette chose et marque et deux étoiles. So you'll win two stars for every one of these you fill. Mathematically, it has to come out to the number above. And you have to use three dice total. Tu dois utiliser trois dés. Et le dé doit uh, uh, égal uh, le, le uh, numéro à U. OK. Et tu gagnes deux étoiles pour chaque uh, espace que tu remplis avec le trois, uh, trois D. OK. And then my little scythe. For every one you mark, say you mark the one right here, you're going to win this pumpkin. Pour, pour My Little Scythe, si tu marquais le 1, tu gagnais le, le citrouille. Et ou tu marquais le 1 ici, tu gagnais le, le cœur. Uh, plus facile. Um, you're going to get stars if you have at least seven pumpkins, you'll get one star. If you have at least seven, you're going to get one star total for this round. Uh, tu gagnais une étoile pour si tu as used or unused. Um, Tu gagnes une étoile uh, si tu as uh, sept uh, citrouilles ou sept cœurs, uh, utilisés ou pas utilisés. Um, et uh, tu gagnes une étoile pour le, le pumpkin et plus si, ou, ou <laughs> le pumpkin, le citrouille plus sept ou le, le cœur plus sept. Tu gagnes une étoile. Et tu gagnes une étoile pour chaque uh, sept ou double. Comme le 1 et le 1 et uh, le ensemble, tu gagnais une étoile parce que le 1 est en ensemble. Le, le 2 1. Et tu, par exemple, tu gagnais le. Tu uh, mets un X dans le 4 et 4 et le 1 et 1. Tu gagnais une étoile pour le 1 et une étoile pour le 4. OK. So. Um, in English, if you if you get sets of things, so if you have two ones, you're going to get one star. If you have two fours, you're going to get one star. If you have both sets here, that's another way of getting two stars. If you look at it, technically, you could win, I think, what, seven stars, eight stars in this one? But it's still maxed out at six. So you can never get more than the six stars that it allows. Tu ne peux pas gagner plus de six étoiles dans chaque espace. Donc... Uh, so we'll just go ahead and start, and you fill in wherever you would like. So, yellow. So we have a one and a four. Well, you actually couldn't get all the stars because 
you can only put one dice in there each each roll, and there are only nine rolls. No, that is true. So you actually couldn't get them. Okay. So I'll show for this one, just for example. You can see it. Okay. For my tapestry, I use the number four here, and I put it there. And technically, it's facing the same direction, but I mean, I could have turned it, but I just face it here. I didn't win anything from this one because I haven't filled any boxes, but that's how tapestry works. Um, and I place my other one here to get the, the pumpkin. So we'll see how that works out for me. Next turn. There's another one and a four. This would be really good for like charter stone. Hmm. All right. Michelle's thinking a lot faster on this turn. She's like finishing before I do. A five and a three is the next one. Um, I have to use the three side. Okay, next round. Ooh, two, fours. two fours. I don't think anything allows us to use in one space, but. And. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. The next round is a six and a two. A six and two. And all right. Next one is a four and a three. Cat et un trois. She says she's not ready. Why is it so hard? I don't 
no. Ready? Yep. Okay. Let's fix that. Okay, there we go. So we have a five and a two. Two. Okay. Two rolls left. Five and a one. And oh, I only have one dice roll left. Hmm. Do something. All right. Oh, we'll just go into the last round. We have a one and a four. Okay. All right. Okay, so that was the end of that round. You're going to total everything up. Uh, for me, let's see here. I got six. Um, Okay, the only one that you probably, uh, let's see here. So I totaled up this one. I'm getting the two stars for that one. I didn't get this one. I did get this one, so I got two for that one. I filled in all of Tapestry, so I'll get the six there. Wow. And I filled in I have a matching set here and a matching set here. And I have over seven of or seven or more of each of these. So that's going to be one, two stars, three, four stars. Okay, and I just total up all those, so. That's a much better round. So I got 14. Wow, that's really good. I got nine. Nice. <laughs> okay, last round. I'll explain this one. Okay, pour la dernière uh, round, et c'était la fin de la partie maintenant. Um, nous, avons, nous allons jouer la Between Two Cities, Euphoria, et Between Two Castles. So 
We're going to play in these three right here between two cities, Euphoria, and between two castles. Um, what we're going to do is we are then going to play, let's see, I think the easiest one to explain to start with might be this one. So between two castles works like this. Um, and I think you should only place one dice. Yeah. Okay. So as you're going along, you're building a castle. Tu dois construire un uh, château et avec la, la, la face de la dé. Par exemple, si je roule la carte et un maintenant, je peux placer la, la carte ici, par exemple. Et le prochain tour, je roule la carte et un encore, encore, donc je peux placer la un ici. Um, ou et le prochain tour, je, je place la cinq ici. OK, so in this instance, you are going to win a star for doing these, following them horizontal. Um, these are free spaces. C'était le espace gratuit, mais tu gagnais une étoile pour chaque uh, ro, uh, horizontal. Et quand tu finis le, le ro, tu gagnais une étoile. Um, now, to build on top of it, um, pour construire le, le prochain dé à eu le autre dé, le, le dé pendant le sur le autre dé et sur l'autre dé et doit um, plus or, or moins de le dé pendant la, la su. Uh, I don't know if that made sense. In English, it's if you have a six here, you could place a two above it and a one above that. So you have to place them in numerical order going up. Um, and so your highest number has to be on the bottom and then lower and then lower than that. So that is how you're going to construct these. When you finish the rows horizontal, you win stars. When you finish the rows vertical, you're going to win these resources. To gagner les ressources quand tu uh, finis ou remplis le, le boîte uh, vertical. So that is how that one works. That's how you're going to win resources and stars. This one works like this. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to place every time you roll. So you have the one and four here. You could place the one right here. Um, mark either one or if a pair is rolled. Okay. So this one, if you roll like two fours, you could put in both fours at the same time. You put a four right here and a four right here. Um, pour set, set what you see to put place du day dans le même temps. Mais le du day doit être uh, double. Comme du, du quatre, du trois, du un, mais pas un et quatre. Chaque fois que tu um, marques en face ici, tu dois ajouter le total comme 4 plus 0 pour cette boîte et 4. Donc, tu gagnais une étoile. So, you're going to win stars. So, you're going to have to add things together. So, as you cross them off, so you, you mark off this 3, 3 plus 0 for all other things marked in this box, not this one. So you could have a three here and a three there. You would win one star from this box, and then you would win one star from this box if you had two threes. Um, your next turn, if you were to place, you know, a six in here, um, par exemple, tu, peux pla tu places en six ici, tu dois uh, prendre la six et la trois et ajouter ensemble et pour for uh, le neuf. Donc, tu gagnes une autre étoile. So, you'll win another star because six plus three is still in between three and ten. So, that's how you're going to win stars there. And then you're going to win the resources when you get over 11 or if you do things that are under or between one and two. So, that is how you get those. Uh, between two cities, think of tic-tac-toe. Uh, pour entre les deux villes, le between two cities, uh, pensez tic-tac-toe. Quand tu remplis la chose uh, verticale ou horizontale, tu gagnes la chose horizontale ou verticale. Mais tu gagnes le, les étoiles quand même l'autre autre espace. Par exemple, tu gagnais, si tu gagnais deux étoiles dans Euphoria et six étoiles dans Between Two Castles, pendant la fin, et tu uh, utilisais la 4 et la 6 ici, 
tu marquais deux choses ici. Tu, gagne, tu peux gagner deux étoiles total parce que Euphoria a deux étoiles. So you're going to win whatever your lowest star amount is between the other two cities. But you can only win a total of how many you've placed here. So even if you have placed all six here, all six here, but you've only placed two here, you can still only win two stars. So that is how um, between two cities works. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't explain that fully in French, but oh, and also when you place these, um, you're going to place a number and you place that same number next to it. So you can put another four next to a four. Tu, tu peux placer le même numéro à côté de l'autre numéro avec la même face. Mais tu peux placer le 6 à côté de la 4 et après tu peux placer la 4 diagonale avec le, le 4. C'est bon. Mais pas place la 4 au autre tagle uh, à l'autre uh, 4. So you can't place another 4 orthogonally adjacent to that 4. You could place it diagonally adjacent though. Um, but That is basically how you're going to fill those. And to gagner les étoiles qui uh, pour ton uh, plus basse étoile que tu gagnes avec le autre du uh, espace. Okay. So last one. We'll do these ones in red. So we have a four and a six. Remember, you can't use resources from past rounds, only current resources that you have. Tu peux pas utiliser le resource comme le autre round, mais juste utiliser le resource que tu gagnes cette round. Okay, so five and two. That's our next one. Yeah, ready? All right. This is a four and a six. Again. A five and a two. A six and a four. You're getting a lot of fours and sixes. <laughs> A five and a three. Ready? Two rounds left, and then the game will be all over. Okay. 
or three rounds left, I suppose. So we have double fives. Okay, two rounds left. Ready? Four and a three. All right. I'm not ready to get Okay. We have another four and a three. Well, that was my best round. I got 15 stars. Wow. That one was a combo. I liked it. I'm a neighbor. And just spend one more. Two green. One more. Okay. So, all those. I have all those. Okay. So, uh, again, I'll just walk through kind of mine really quick. So, I did get six stars here. I got six stars here. Only put in a total of four in this region, which means I can only collect up to four, even though I got six in each of these. So, for uh, between two cities, je peux gagner. Jusqu'à quatre étoiles parce que je je uh, utilisé jusqu'à uh, en deux trois quatre oh cinq étoiles je peux gagner cinq étoiles parce que j'ai utilisé cinq étoiles dans cette région et je gagné le six et le six donc one one two three four five only went up to five okay twelve So one seventeen there. So you're going to total all these together, and then you're going to total all of your unused resources as well. So I had twelve unused resources. So it's basically going to be one point two stars for this, plus my other things. So I believe my total then is 40, oops, I messed all that up. 42.2 is my total. Okay, I didn't do a point for mine. Mine was point one. Okay. I'm just gonna say you have 42 points. 42 points sounds good. I think. Unless if someone else got 42 as well, then we'll. Well, then mine is 36.1. Okay. Which already doesn't beat you. So. Right, right. All right. Well, anyway, that was Rolling Round. Uh, check out their site. They are coming out with new versions all the time. Um, they've been changing, slightly changing different things. So you can play some of the older versions, see if you like any particular one better than other ones. But this is the basic premise of how to play this game. Um, on Monday, we'll be back with uh, Welcome 2, and we'll be playing here with Welcome 2. So
uh, your sheet for that. Uh, pendant uh, um, lundi, nous, avons, nous allons jouer le jeu uh, Bienvenue ton... Um, I'm not sure if they actually changed it. I think it's just welcome to your perfect home or welcome to. Um, mais tu peux uh, emprunter le, le foie, donc tu peux jouer avec nous. Um, so go ahead and do that. And then on Tuesday will be the next installment of me and my son Jane's uh, uh, two-player world as we know it tournament. And we're not actually sure which games we are going to play for next Tuesday, but I think we'll put up the voting today on Twitter between two different games and you guys can start voting as to which of the two games you want us to play um, and we'll see uh, who can win that. So far, me and Jane are tied up. I have two points and he has two points. Uh, I won all of the first week's games and he has won so far all of this week's games. So we are both tied two to two. So we will see coming next week if we can start getting a spread from each other. All right, other than that, thank you for joining in. Hope you play along. And if you like this, go back and look at the rest of our videos on this channel or on our Facebook page, and you can play along with us with the other ones. Go ahead and put your scores up and tell us if you beat us.